Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Oracle Park. My name is Erwin Higueros, and I'm the giant Spanish language broadcaster. I'd like to thank you all for being here today as we welcome the newest giant, Chan Hu Li, into the Giants organization. I'd also like to welcome those watching on all Giants so social media channels, NBC Sports Bay Area, and listening on KMBR. I'd also like to recognize Chung Hu Lee parents who are in attendance today. Is that Chung Bom Lee and his mom, Chung Ming Chung. Sorry if, if I mispronounce the, <laughs> the names, I apologize. <laughs> Joining us on the dais is Giants President of Baseball Operations, Farham Saidi. Giants outfielder, Chung Hu Lee. Lee's attorney, Scott Boris. And Lee's interpreter, Tad Yo. Today's program will feature opening remarks from Harp Han and uh, Chung Hu, followed by the Jersey presentation and a photo opportunity, and then we'll open it up for questions. Now I'll turn it over to Farhan. Thank you, Erwin. Uh, I just echo Erwin's sentiments. Welcome everybody here. Welcome our, our members of the Korean media, some who, who have traveled very far to be here today. Uh, special warm welcome to Chung Hu's parents. We're so delighted. Uh, that you could be here for this special day. And we know uh, it says, you're as proud today as we are excited to welcome uh, your son into the Giants family. Um, also want to uh, acknowledge um, um, Scott, Boris, and Boris Corp, and uh, very much appreciate uh, all their work and cooperation in, in getting uh, this deal done. Um, with that said, uh, this is really a great and really exciting day in Giants history. It's a great day for our organization and for our fan base. Uh, Jung Hu is somebody who we have admired from afar over several years. We've uh, watched him grow into you know, one of the best players in the KBO, um, seen him win many awards over there, uh, got a chance to scout him in the World Baseball Classic earlier this year where he had an amazing performance. Um, our general manager, Pete Patilla, uh, made a trip over to Korea, yeah. even though it was just to see one at bat. Uh, we still believe he may have gotten a pair sponsorship deal out of uh, his <laughs> appearance there. So uh, uh, there was uh, great efforts made on all parts of our organization to familiarize ourselves with Jung Hoo, um, not just as a player, but as a person. And we think this is an absolutely perfect fit. Um, as we've talked about entering this off season, our goals were uh, to get more athletic as a team um, from an offensive standpoint, to uh, you know, make more contact and, and play the kind of baseball where the industry seems to be trending towards. And honestly, as we looked at our options this off season, there was no player, no target who was more of a perfect fit for what we were hoping to achieve uh, than Jung Hoo. So we could not be more excited uh, from a baseball standpoint um, from our baseball operations group, we're very grateful to our ownership, uh, Greg Johnson, our chairman, and our entire board and ownership uh, for their support in this pursuit. Um, Jung Hoo was a, a very coveted player in free agency, and uh, we made it known to his representatives that he was a very high priority for us, and we're just delighted that we were able to get this deal done. Um, like we talked about, for us, this offseason was about adding players who had a chance to be here not just for a year or two, but for several years. And uh, Jung Hoo, as a 25-year-old next year, has a chance uh, to be in San Francisco for a very long time and create a wonderful legacy here. And know that our players and coaches and our manager, Bob Melvin, who he had a spank chance to speak to earlier today, um, will provide him with, with every bit of support as he seeks to accomplish his goals here. Uh, so with that, uh, again, just want to welcome Jung Hoo, his family, to the Giants organization, and again, say we could not be more excited to be here today to introduce you all to our fans and organization. Now we'll hear from Jung Hoo. <laughs> uh, hello, Giants. My name is Jung Hoo Lee, uh, grandson of the wind. 
<laughs> from Korea. First, I would like to thank the Johnson family, Larry, Haran, and Pete. Also, special thank to my lawyer, Scott Boras, <laughs> and Boras Corporation. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to sell this. Stay with my mother and father. And thank you for helping to achieve my dream to play in MLB. I always have loved the Bay Area from coming here as a young ball player. I am here to win and will always do my best for teammates and friends. Let's go, Giants! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 감사합니다. Let's go, Giants. We'll do the uh, jersey presentation now. Handsome? <laughs> All right. So we'll open for questions now. Megan and Mary have wireless mics, so please raise your hand and uh, one of them will come in and get you the microphone. Susan? Hi. Thanks, everybody, for this. Welcome to Chung Hoo. Um, my first question is what particularly about the, the Giants as an organization attracted to you this team since you were so coveted in free agency? Well, guys, uh, you want to talk a little bit about the Uh,저도어렸을때부터 저랑 제 또한 이제 이런 큰 역사가 깊은 구단에서 뛰게 되어서 매우 영광입니다. Ever since he was a child, he um, uh, he would come to San Francisco as he said in the earlier statement, and um, he just feels honored that uh, a team of historical importance like the Giants chose him to be a part of the team, and he feels that this is a true honor for him to play for the Giants. Evan. Jung Hoo, welcome, congratulations. Um, how do you foresee this transition to the major leagues going for you on the field? And what do you think are the biggest challenges and what are kind of your goals for this first year? So, I'm a major leader. Uh, pretty much everything, but um, he says specifically, you know, obviously the pitching, um, the team 
the, the stadiums themselves and the environment that he's going to be playing in going forward. On top of that, travel. I mean, it's a very different system than Korea. He used to take buses in Korea, but now he's going to take planes, and the time changes will be difficult for him to adjust to. But he's uh, ready to make that uh, transition happen. He's, he's going to work really, really hard to make that transition a success. Hi, John Poo, congrats. Um, on sort of building off that, what are you most excited about uh, as, you, as you look ahead to your first season in the major leagues? A couple of decisions I can't remember. What are your goals? I've been in the United States in spring training in the Kium Heroes Club. I've been in the United States in the United States. I've been in the United States in the 모든 구장이 다 처음이라 그런 메이저리그 필드에서 뛰게 된게 가장 기대가 됩니다. Well, first of all, um, um, he, uh, as a Kium Hero um, player, he would come to spring training in Arizona, and um, he his first experience was seeing the Diamondbacks as we had this conversation, and then uh, he was excited about seeing all the different fields in the major leagues and playing in those fields. That's one of the first things he's looking forward to. Chen-Hu, you mentioned your father and his playing career. What, what can you tell us about your dad as a player, and what did you learn from him? So, 아버지를 제 친구 이제 어? 아, 너가 아버지 어, 야구하는 거 봤잖아. 그죠? 어, 특별히 뭘 배웠냐, 아버지한테? 야구적으로 뭐 배운 건 없고요. <laughs> oh, this, this is pretty funny. So we have to try. I, le I learned nothing from my dad in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> 아버지한테는 뭐 인성이라든지 네 그런. 그런 좋은 사람으로서 클수 있는 그런 것들 또 항상 어 선수가 어 잘할 때 어떻게 행동해야 되는지 이런 것들을 배운 것 같습니다. Uh, aside from the not learn, he really did learn to be a good person from his father and to be a good teammate and being part of a team and he learned all those qualities from his father and his mother. We got to keep the mother in this picture. Hi, Zhang Hu. Um, so obviously you've had a tour, you've been able to see this ballpark already. Um, what do you think of this ballpark overall and how excited are you, or what excites you about being able to play here at Oracle Park? Mm. Uh, he's played in Dome Stadium for most of his career, and the fact that he's been uh, playing in an outdoor field is uh, pretty special for him. And uh, he's really looking forward to playing in this kind of environment. Well, how, how is your ankle? You have surgery in July. Um, is that fully recovered? Do you expect to make a full recovery and have any impact on, on your play? Obviously, speed and athleticism is a big part of your game. Uh, I'm back to full 100%, and uh, a lot of people assisted him in getting back to where he is now, and uh, he's going to dedicate this season to all those people that helped him get back to his feet. Uh, yeah, 이정 선수 안녕하세요. 먼저 계약 축하드립니다. MK 스포츠의 김재호 기자라고 합니다. 김하성 선수가 굉장히 이정호 선수 함께 뛰고 싶어했어요. 근데 이제 1년에 열네 번을 적으로 만나야 하는 사이가 되는데 혹시 두 선수 계약하고 나서 두 선수 사이에 좀한 얘기가 있으면 좀 공유해 주실 수 있나요? So it's a uh, question in Korean. So basically he's asking about Kim Ha-sung and their friends. So he's asking um, have you guys had a dialogue after the signing? 하성이 형은 한국에서 같은 팀메이트로 뛰었고 또 저한테 있어서는 정말 정신 정신적으로 지주가 되었던 그런 형이었고 또 형이 항상 한국에 있을 때부터 저한테 좋은 말씀 많이 해주셔서 저도 이렇게 큰 꿈을 끼울 수 있었던 것 같고 어뭐 함께 이제 맞대결 많이 하겠지만 네 함께 뛰었던 
그런 시절을 이제 뒤로 하고 형과 이렇게 맞대결하게 돼서 좀 시, 신기하기도 하고 또 설레이기도 하고 어, 예, 그, 그런 것 같습니다. 또 형도 항상 어, 좋은 말씀 많이 해주시고 그러셔가지고 많이 형한테도 물어보고 해야 될것 같습니다. Um, ha Sung Kim has been <웃음> friends with him for a long time since he was at Kium, and um, he's um, benefited from his guidance and his uh, his counsel. And um, as he progresses his career, and he's honored to be playing uh, in the same MLB with him, and um, he's going to continue to look to him for guidance and support throughout his career. 축하보라 선수 질문하겠습니다. 어, 샌프란시스코와 이동호 선수가 계약하는 데 있어서 가장 어려웠던 점 아니면 가장 또 굉장히 어, 인상적이었던 점이 무엇인지 좀 묻고 싶고요. 어, 두 번째는 이동호 선수한테 꼭 어, 조언을 해준다면 어떤 이야기를 하고 싶으신지 예, 궁금합니다. Uh, first part of the question is um, what was the toughest part of your negotiation with San Francisco? And 두 번째가 뭐였었죠? 조언하다가 뭐 있었죠? Uh, uh, advice to other players? 다른 선수들한테? Uh. Uh, uh, 누가, 누가 advice? Uh, Sky 씨 뭐냐고? Uh, they're talking about you, Sky. This is why. Uh, <laughs> 알아들었으니까 질문해. Oh, you want you to answer. Oh, oh God. See, you have to go to my head. So, I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Anyway, this was a question for Scott. Did you understand that in Korean, right? <laughs> Tell my response. I immediately <laughs> reacted. <laughs> um, no, I, I think there was commonality between the Giants organization and, and certainly our discussions with Farhan and Pete began really at the general managers meetings and at the winter meetings. And I, uh, it's really nice to tell a player that an organization's interest level is where they'll fly 30,000 miles to watch one at bat. <laughs> 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 and, you know, so it's, uh, we knew that, you know, for us and the comfort of, uh, of really what we wanted for Jung Hu, that being raised in this area, knowing that there, this has a rich Korean community, um, certainly the the construct of the uh, of the stadium and his bat to ball skills playing in the National League West all fit the what we thought were very much success points for for Jung Hoo so it, it was really a, a um, I think a negotiation we had a lot of a lot of mutual uh, needs to be fulfilled and uh, and it was great that Jung Hoo was so familiar with the city and his family had brought him here and uh, he was very very pleased about the Giants interest and so we we took great steps to advance with uh, with the Giants to get this done. John Ho, a couple of questions. Could you explain what kind of player you are so maybe fans could know what to expect on offense, defense, the running game, the power, the contact, you know, everything. Who, who are you as a baseball player? So, Sandra, we saw. Jung Ho, you are what kind of player? I'm a kid. 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 i 정말 뭐든지 최선을 다하고 저희 모든 것을 쏘아 부을 준비가 되어 있는 선수라고 말씀드리고 싶습니다. So first part of your question sir, um, basically I'm still a young man and I'm still developing as a player. But to conclude that statement, he wanted to tell the fan base that he's going to do everything in his power to work hard and be the best player that he can be. Now the secondary part of the question, 두 번째 question 뭐였었냐면 너 어펜스는 어떤 선수고 디펜스는 어떤 선수냐? 어 <웃음> 그거는 어 제가 제 입으로 말씀드리기는 조금 부끄러운데 그래도 어 내년 이제 오프닝 데이 때부터 제가 보여드리면 그때 팬분들께서 평가해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but uh, from opening day on, the fans will be impressed with the skill set. Okay. And, and and one more, just um, a lot has been said about your. Uh, bat to ball skills and your contact rate and low on strikeouts, high on walks. Um, are, do, do you at all track 
exit velocity or do you not even care about exit velocity? 지금 사람들이 다 얘기하는 게 플러스 에서 얘기하는 게 어, 공을 잘 맞힌다. 어? 근데 너는 그 엑셀 발라스인데서 신경을 쓰냐? 어, 신경을 쓴다는 기보다는 어렸을 때부터 제가 남들보다 잘할 수 있는 게 뭘까 생각했을 때 어, 공을 잘 맞추는 능력이었고 어, 그 공을 잘 맞추기만 해서는 안 되고 제가 제 풀스윙을 돌리면서 공을 잘 맞춰야 된다 생각을 했고 또 삼진은 정말 아무것도 해보지 못하고 제가 물러나는 거지만 어떻게 해서든 공을 컨택을 해서 그라운드 안으로 넣게만 하면 은 무슨 일이 일어날지 모르기 때문에 네, 그런 식으로 어렸을 때부터 생각을 하며 연습을 했고 그렇기 때문에 제가 컨택이 조금 남들보다 좀 좋아진 것 같아서 네, 그렇게 생각하고 있습니다. Ever since he was a young, young player, a young kid, um, he focused on contact as being a part of his game and he's refined that over his career. And that's what his specialty has been and he eliminates strikes out, strikeouts that way. And that's why he focuses a lot of his, of his energy and time on practicing and making contact. So not necessarily exit velocity. Uh, welcome, uh, uh, welcome, uh, John Hu. Uh, I just heard grandson of the wind, and I saw it somewhere else. Is this your nickname? Who gave it to you, and why? You got press there, no. So, 아들이다, grandson 아들이다. 그 이름은 누가 줬고, 어? 지금. 이제부터 쓸 거냐? 아, 저희 아버지 현역 이제 선수 시절 별명이 바람의 아들이셨는데 그냥 태어나니까 자연스럽게 저는 바람의 손자가 되었고 한국에서 뛰었을 때는 뭔가 바람의 손자라는 그런 어, 말이 좀 조금 오글거리기도 했고 한데 이게 영어로 말하니까 멋있더라고요. 네, 그래서 <웃음> well, 좀 마음에 his father was known as son of the wind and uh, in Korea they mentioned it once in a while but in English it sounds really good. So I think he's going to use it. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> um, that, uh, I have some other questions, but that just makes me wonder. Uh, obviously, his dad must have been fast. Is he as fast as his dad was, or is his dad faster? Oh. Who can say? I think this question is a little bit difficult. Is your dad faster than your father? My dad is really fast. He's really fast. 지금은 이기죠. 지금 이기는데 에, 같은 나이 때 뛰어보라고 하면 절대 이길 수 없을 것 같아요. Um, yes, he was really fast. Uh, and right now I could probably beat him. But if they put him back at the same age level, 이길 수 있다고? 지금은 이제 올드 햄스트링이 됐기 때문에 <웃음> 아, 제가 이기죠. 근데 똑같은 나이면 same age. 지정되면. No chance. He's still faster. Okay. Wow. Okay. Complimentary of his father. Okay. When you came to San Francisco um, with your family as a kid, were those trips just to see the city? Were they um, business trips? Do you do you recall you have relatives here? I just I just went to San Francisco. 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 Um, when he was in middle school, the third, I think third year in middle school, he came to watch a game. Oh, to watch that's a game. That's what, yeah, that's what he remembers. Um, and how would you describe yourself off the field? What are your, what are your interests away from baseball? 야구 안할 때는 뭘 하냐? 뭘 좋아하냐? 저 넷플릭스 보는 거 좋아하고. No need translation. 유튜브 보는 거 좋아하고. 근데 거의 집에서 잠 자고 맛있는 거 먹는 거 좋아하고 그런 것 같아요. I'm more of a Netflix and YouTube type of watcher, but he likes to stay home and eat good food made by his mom. <laughs> like all of us. <laughs> um, oh, that's fine. In the back first, and then we go back to you. Oh, so Evan, go first. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, Pete Patilla's trip to go see your last game for one at bats come up a couple times. What did that mean to you personally, and did that have any impact on your decision? 저 피시 어, 너 마지막 방망이 보러 한국까지 갔는데 그게 너한테 어떻게 어, 감정이 왔나 그리고 또 어, 그거 보고 돼서 어떻게 생각냐 어, 생각지도 못했는데 정말 저는 어, 어떻게 보면은 하나의 큰 선물을 받은 것 같은 기분이었습니다. 네, 너무 감사했고 또 이렇게 한국에 와, 와주셔서 저희 플레이를 지켜봐 주신 것만으로도 저한테 너무 행복한 기억으로 지금도 남아 있습니다. Unbelievable. 
No, basically, he didn't even think about him coming, and the fact that he came was an honor for him. And I was very, very honored that uh, someone like Pete's caliber and position would come watch me play in Korea, especially one at bat. And one with Farhan. Um, kind of crowded outfield situation right now. I assume, is this your center fielder of the future every day, you imagine it? Yeah, that's that's definitely the plan, to have him play opening day and every day at center field. And do you expect kind of more moves to shake out the, the outfield situation? Uh, possibly. I mean, it, you know, we do have guys in a rotation, and we like to sort of get guys rest and, and use the bench. But uh, I, I think it's a possibility, but um, not not necessarily. We don't have anything imminent there. Yeah, 이정호 선수 축, 먼저 축하드리고요. 예 그리고 일단 적응하는 문제가 제일 클것 같은데 일단 첫 시즌 네 목표를 말씀해 주시면 마음이 안. First of all, congratulations, and uh, he just wants to know what are your goals for your first season. 네, 일단은 제가 부딪혀 봐야 될것 같고 어, 목표를 뭐 잡는 것도 좋지만은 어, 제가 우선 어, 적응하는 게 제일 중요하기 때문에 적응을 최우선으로 삼고. 하루하루 최선을 다할 것입니다. 그리고 팀이 이기는 게 가장 중요하기 때문에 계속 팀 승리를 위해서 뛰려고 하고 있습니다. Uh, aside from personal goals, um, he's focused on getting acclimated into MLB and helping the team win. That's his primary goal and the only goal. 예, yeah, 어 uh, 제가 이야기로는 지난 시즌에 그 메이저 리그 데뷔를 위해서 약간 좀 스윙을 변화를 주신 걸로 알고 있고 결과가 별로 좋지 않았던 걸로 알고 있습니다. 그 과정을 통해서 혹시 좀 배운 게 있다면 좀 어떤 게 있을까요? 어 저는 제가 잘하고 싶기 위해서는 변화도 두려워하면 안 된다고 생각하기 때문에 어 그런 시간들로 통해서 오히려 저의 메커니즘이라든지 그런 스윙에 있어서 더욱 더 내가 좋은 걸 가지고 있구나라는 생각도 들었고 또 그런 시간들이 저한테 절대 어안 좋은 시간만 아니었고. 또 겨울 동안 저도 그렇게 준비를 많이 했고 또 저를 도와주신 분들도 많이 저를 도와주셨기 때문에 제가 거기서 성적을 못낸 거에 있어서 많이 미안하게 생각도 들고 하지만은 그런 시간들이 어 어떻게 보면은 저도 처음 겪어보는 그런 시간들로 인해서 더욱 성숙해지는 계기도 됐던 것 같고 어 저에 대한 믿음이 좀더 확고해졌던 그런 시간이었던 것 같습니다. So his question was referring to his season, previous season and the, the decrease in performance. And his answer basically is that he uh, took that as a lesson for himself and to work really, really hard and to refine his skill set so they can improve. Uh, obviously got hurt, but he focused a lot of his energies on improving his game for this purpose, coming to the MLB. Andy. Uh, hello, uh, Jung-hoo, welcome to San Francisco. Uh, I'm Andrew Baggerly with The Athletic. Um, uh, ha Sung Kim really broke out as a very good player when he got the chance to play every day under Bob Melvin in San Diego, and now Melvin is going to be your manager. Uh, was that also a factor in signing with the Giants? Yeah, Melvin is a San Diego Giant. He's been here for a long time. So, Ha Sung Kim is a good player. He's been here for a long time. So, Ha Sung Kim is a good player. He's been here for a long time. So, Ha Sung Kim is a good player. He's been here for a long time. 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 정말 잘 됐다고 이런 말씀 많이 해주셔서 네, 하성 형이 그런 좋은 말들 많이 해주셨습니다. Well, uh, Ha Sung congratulated him first of all, but at the end of the day, um, he basically stated that you know Bob Melvin is a good manager, and you're really lucky to be playing underneath him. John, what do you know about the Giants and the players who used to be here? Basically, their history. Do you know franchise history? Giants 역사 대해서 너가 뭘 아냐? 전 너무 유명한 선수들이 많지만 네, 윌리 메이스 선수도 있고 so, so many famous players obviously Willie Mays 네, 또 저는 어, 너무 옛날 야구는 잘 모를 수도 있기 때문에 가장 최근에는 제가 기억나는 거는 네, 2010년, 2012년, 2014년에 우승했을 때 어, 솔직히 그 우승을 이끈 중심에는 또 버스터 포지 선수가 있었다고 생각하기 때문에 네. He doesn't know about the old history of the Giants, but 2010, 12, 14, he knows that that team won three world championships. And in that context, Buster Posey was a big element of those championships. And, and that's and why he likes it. And what, what were the circumstances? Um, did you speak with Buster Posey? Buster Posey? You got it. Yeah. Did you get it? 
No, he never okay. talked to Lasorda. Wh what were the <laughs> circumstances um, of you coming here to San Francisco? You said you went to one game, or was there more than one trip? And what do you remember about that game? Wh it was right here, I imagine, right? Uh, in San Francisco, he said he had. He said you have. Um, you've been here before. When you've he was a child, it. yes. Yeah. So why 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 did the family come here? Why oh, 그때 you? 그때 아버님하고 어머님하고 같이 왔었잖아요. 왜 그때 왔었냐고. 그 아버님이 그때 okay. 그때 어렸을 때 샌프란시스코 잘 살았어요. 아, 어머니 아버지는 안 오시고 저 혼자 왔어요. Oh, he came actually here to play. 국가대표 경기 하러. He was he played on the national team. Yeah. Okay, where was that? 어디 언제였지? 2013년. 2013. Right here. 여기서? 여기서 좀더 들어가. 프레즈노. 프레즈노. President, so, okay. So not so the stadium. But this is the first here. time you've been here then? So you're in the Chongbizhou? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, and why, why 51? Why 51? I was in the first time I started playing with the players and I was a player of Suzuki Ichigo. So I was a player of the first time I liked the players. So that's why I liked the team when I was a player of the first time I played with the players. So he grew up in Japan, I as you guys have read. But uh, ever since he was a child, he was been a fan of Ichiro Suzuki, and that's why he chose to do 51 as his number. All right, we'll take two more questions. Right, go ahead. Um, have you had a chance to uh, meet any of your new teammates yet? And uh, you said, I mean, along with Ichiro, you said you kind of came out here as a kid and you got spring training. Who were some of your favorite players uh, to watch growing up? Uh, 여기 와서서 선수 만난 적이 있냐? 오늘 아침 어, 또 그리고 또 어렸을 때 어, 자이언츠 봤을 때는 어, 제일 좋은 선수가 누구였잖아요. 저는 오늘 그래서 또 오전에 외, 운동을 잠깐 했었는데 어스틴 선수랑 만나서 이야기도 나누고 했었고 또 어, 제일 좋아하던 선수는 또 저는 어렸을 때 유격수였기 때문에 브랜든 크로포드 선수도 좋아했어요. 아, so, so um, he worked out this morning and uh, we, we worked out with Austin Slater. So he was at the stadium, so he got to meet and converse with him. And then, what else did he do? Brandon Crawford. Oh, he loved Brandon Crawford. <laughs> One more. Go ahead. Um, I'm sure you know that the Giants' rival is the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, how do you feel about having Shohei Otani as your rival? Go ahead. Let's talk about it. Okay. Oh, it's done. Oh. 아 열심히 하겠습니다. 네, 열심히 아, 하겠습니다. Really hard. 열심히 하겠습니다. 네. No comment. <웃음> All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Go Giants. Thank you.